my encounters with emotional intelligence. Did you know emotional intelligence is number one predictor of monetary success? Having high em emotional intelligence helps us to understand others better, not only that, but also ourselves. Madam Toastmaster, Mr. President, who is absent today, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. What is this emotional intelligence or EQ, which is emotional quotient, which is how it is being measured? Emotional intelligence or EQ is ability to have, to, uh, to understand and recognize our own emotions and feelings so that we can regulate our behaviors and actions appropriately. I'm going to talk my encounters with emotional intelligence and give some experience of how I take it to my advantage and use it to the best possible sense. So there are four different elements to this emotional intelligence. Number one, self-awareness. This is one of the most important element of emotional intelligence. It is about knowing and understanding our own emotions and feelings, which is a valuable skill. But have you ever stopped to ask, how well do I know myself, truly know myself? It is very important that we know how we feel the way we do, even if we get angry or being annoyed. Now, after learning more about emotional intelligence and myself, I take a pause and a couple of breaths before responding to any email at work. This helps me to keep myself in check for my emotions, feelings and take very, very deterministic action. Also, I have learned not to get overstimulated or excited when something is, some news is uh, really good for me or getting upset. Rather, I let all of these emotions settle and then take action. Now that I call myself working towards even-mindedness even -mindedness and staying calm in any situation because that's the best thing you can ever enjoy the present moment. Number two, self-management. Self-management is about ability to manage our emotions and feelings. The previous one was understanding, this is to manage it, which, is, which can be very, very challenging when it, is, when it comes to controlling our own internal feelings. It is like wrangling your internal beast, which you cannot either control or stay in place. Recently, I faced a very tough decision for me to whether to go for filing the taxes, seeking the professional help or doing it myself. This particular decision was pretty emotional taxing for me because from last 20 years or since I'm here, I am doing it myself. So I was like, it, it was really pressuring me because why to go and seek professional help? But this time I took a step back and I tried to analyze logically the benefits and drawbacks of both the options and learning that this time I have little more complication because my portfolio has grown. I have some properties here and there. Then why to take that additional burden rather focus on my inner own strength or my work or my other aspect or maybe like Toastmaster and let somebody do who is expert and take care of it. This decision helped me to go move ahead without clouding my judgment and most importantly, giving me a self-assurance that I am moving in the right direction. Number three, social awareness. Now this has a twist. Here, it is the ability to read everybody else's emotions. And here, I can quote the word supercilious. It is about when somebody is supercilious, we should be able to know it and then manage our 
response or conversation accordingly and that is exactly being socially aware means have you noticed some waiters who seem to know how customer what customer wants they instinctively seem to know whether they want to be left alone or they need some special attention mm -hmm. this kind of individuals are considered to be having high emotional social awareness so how do we become more socially aware what i have started to put in practice is to do a quick body language assessment when i meet somebody in person or in social gathering it is quick head to toe body language scan where you check on the eyes if you see some feelings you check on the shoulder if it slouch or being uh, hands are being warmed up or no, i would say folded up this helps me to understand and figure out what emotions or feelings they are having and then accordingly modulate my response and do conversations also i have decided to take everybody with the talk when i talk taking the first name because that helps me to create the bond so when i start a conversation first of all of course i have to remember the name when i meet in second time but not just say hey how are you buddy no hi daryl how are you hi carol how are you doing today see it creates that affection that bond and which is takes you a long way and that is all social awareness is about and lastly relationship management now this plays a vital role in all of our activities whether it is work or in personal life being able to manage your relationship also has to do lot with having empathy for me we have a group uh, which we created in whatsapp uh, we are only three people we are childhood friends in us we happen to stay connected and wanted to continue our journey and stay connected but we could not i made a point to go ahead and talk with them and do my share it truly really gave me a heartwarming experience and we all gelled again together in closing i would say we all can strengthen and build emotional intelligence here are some of the ways for raising the iq and you may also go check out my book self rise above and beyond where there are some nuggets of pulse of wisdom shared over to you <laughs> madam thomas thank you